So this is the Galilei. It takes a topographical image of the eye. Uh, these can be ordered individually, or we use this test for LASIK consultations or cataract consultations. So you're gonna search for the patient's first or last name in the search bar here. If it doesn't show up, you will hit new, enter patient ID, last name, first name, sex, and their date of birth. Have them confirm their full name and date of birth before continuing. Hit save. And then you'll hit examine. This forehead bar is gonna be angled on purpose, so just remind the patient to keep that in mind when they come forward. So you can come forward, chin on the chin rest, forehead all the way up. You wanna line up this black line with right where their eye is is a good start. And they're gonna be looking for a red target in front of them. So to get a good image for this, you wanna be centered on the pupil right here, have a good alignment. Down here and up here, you're gonna to want to make sure it's just touching below this red line. The threshold for that is going behind by the thickness of this gray band back or forward by the gray band, thickness of the gray band. But ideally, you would want it just touching right there. So once they're aligned, have them blink twice. Eyes wide open as big as you can. Make sure you're lined up. Hold still for a couple seconds. And you can sit back now. We're gonna have to redo that image. Should I explain it one more time? I want to get an image where it's like 100%, so then I can explain it from there. But should I redo the explanation part of it? So once you're lined up here, you're going to have them blink twice. Eyes wide open. Hold still for a couple seconds. Try not to blink or move. Hit the fire button on top here. Wait till this loads. And then you can have the patient sit back. OK, so after you take the image, this will show up. There are a couple things you're gonna look for here before you hit accept. You want all of these to be green check marks. Um, this is the recommended percentage and then this is the actual. If for some reason you get a reduced signal like this, you can check 85.2% is pretty close to 90%, so it's okay. Sometimes it'll say reduced signal due to lashes in the way or lids. In that case, I would retake the image, but Ideally, you would want all of the green check marks right there. Um, you're then going to go through each of these buttons and make sure all the criteria is met. Starting with this one, you want to make sure this light gray band ideally would be just touching this red line, which it is here. Um, the threshold for that would be back by the thickness of the gray band or past the red line by the thickness of the gray band. But this would be ideal right here where it's just touching. Um, go through the next one. This is all good. This is the alignment. You just want to make sure it's aligned to the center. And then for these, you are going to want to make sure up until the second green circle that there are no breaks. So these out here are fine, but as long as first green circle, second green circle right here, and in, all the circles are fully there. And this is just another image of that. And then you'll hit overview, hit accept. It'll take you to this page right here. For cataract consultations, you're going to want to write that down the ASTIG value right here and put that into their surgical evaluation page. For LASIK consultations, you're looking for this pachymetry thinnest. This number right here will go into their LASIK evaluation page. Uh, and then once the database and measure buttons are able to be clicked, you're going to hit EMR to send it to iViews. 
and then hip measure to do the left eye. And you're going to want to make sure you turn the forehead band to the right angle. And then if you just move the machine over, it'll automatically go to the left eye. So you're going to move up and down by twisting the joystick and then moving in and out, moving the machine. So what I like to do is align it first here and center it and then go push the machine towards the eye. You can make fine tune adjustments here. That's in center right there, but when you're looking down here, you ideally want to have this gray band touching right at the red. The threshold for that is the thickness of that gray band. You can go You can go away from it by the thickness of the gray band or past the red line by the thickness of the gray band. But ideally, you want to get just touching. Right there is probably ideal. And then blink twice. Eyes wide open. Hold still for five seconds. Wait till it loads, and then you can have the patient sit back. <laughs>